All right, guys. <clears throat> it is an absolutely <clears throat> spectacularly gorgeous. We are talking an over-the-top beautiful Monday morning in paradise. It is July 1st, 2024. We are kicking off the second half of 2024. Uh, here at Bugs in a Jar Farm, I'm just doing an update. You know, so I've been, you know, spending my morning doom scrolling about how the the world is falling apart. How all of these weather events and everything else is conspiring to uh, <laughs> to kill us all in 2024. I guess there's some big hurricane blowing in to the Caribbean today and people dying of heat stroke and all of that so I do my doom scrolling and then come out here to do a garden update on uh, July 1st now the vast majority of these plants did not exist on the planet uh, I got here on May 3rd, so uh, a little less than two months ago, I pulled in to Bugs in a Jar Farm and uh, got these Amish guys to uh, put in this this basket here. can only imagine what it's going to look like uh, on Labor Day. Uh, probably going to get probably gonna get some more flower boxes I think this is a swamp hibiscus <coughs> here is the little dog uh, hanging out in the 64 degree sunshine so uh <coughs> I just want you guys to check out the blackberries so these blackberries, I think I got from Brother Basil, either three or four years, I got the, a couple of little transplants. This thing here, this cane here, 15, 16 feet high. I mean, look at, look at the cane on this thing, and uh, <laughs> here is... Uh, the blackberry crop. Now this is a thornless blackberry. I planted him two years ago, but I want you to look at the <laughs> at, at the blackberry crop this year. This is one branch. One branch. So I think it's unless we have some horrible drought, uh, the blackberry cobblers. I'm going to be coming in. It's the month of August. Look at look at that thing. I mean, this is like <clears throat> I've I've never seen. Well, I guess in Oregon and Washington, maybe you see berries uh, that that look like this. As I say, this is a four-year-old plant. Uh, Anyway, we are looking forward to the Blackberry Cobbler Feast coming up next month. Oh, man. Ribbit, ribbit. So let's go, uh, and they're still blooming. I mean, it's going to be in the 40s tonight. The blackberries like it nice and cool. So I still have berry bushes blooming on July 1st. So we're going to go out to the island where uh, I am planting my... Uh, I want you to check these... Look at, look at these tomato plants. 
Good Lord. These might be the most gorgeous tomato plants that I have ever grown. So this is the cherry tomato plant. This, this, this little plant was in one of these uh, like three inch pots about uh, one month ago. This uh, cherry tomato was in a little three inch pot. It was about six inches tall. <clears throat> Looks like we will be getting our first cherry tomatoes. Now, unfortunately, I just picked a lot of the zinnias. So uh, these are this is the zinnia bed. Uh, man. So they are happy zinnias. The gladiolas a little I'm, I'm a little concerned about my gladiola crop. I did everything I could to do it right. Yes, little dog, so the dog is colonizer. This way you can look at the froggies and the snakies from here. And uh man those those blackberries, that really is something. And uh, so one thing I am a little, I don't know if I'm concerned about this. So these are the Joe Pie weeds. And they're supposed to bloom in August. It is July 1st and the Joe Pie is going into bloom like four to six weeks early. I have no idea what is going on with the Joe Pie. So Alistair, if you're watching this, this is the row of Joe Pies that you planted, I think three years ago. But, uh, I mean, look, so, I mean, look at this. July 1st, I explain what that's all about. Uh, it is a, wacky time on the planet here's how the bog garden is faring man it is right up to the top feel that cool july breeze blowing so uh here is <laughs> here is what this joe pie looks like this year so this joe pie you know is the first one i moved in here four years ago when i wasn't sure what joe pie was and it's getting ready to bloom it looks to be i'm guessing 300 sets of blooms on that joe pie this is the little joe pie gauntlet you walk through on the way to uh uh, on the way up to Blue Dragon. Alright, what have we got? Oh yes, the, the elderberry is pretty much already bloomed out. This thing uh, a week ago was in full bloom. So, uh, unfortunately this is the wrong elderberry to make the, you know, the tonic in the syrup out of it's the other elderberry but uh, it is still a beautiful plant as they say th this plant which is now 12 feet tall one month ago was barely coming out of the ground a month ago Sancho you're not going over there oh man <clears throat> now this thing not sure what they they call this a kind of hydrangea the strawberries and cream I, I i don't it's not like any hydrangea i ever grew up with but uh so it it blooms white it blooms white and then the longer the blooms stay there it starts getting pink 
and it gets darker and darker pink. These blooms last a long time and it gets darker and darker pink over a couple of weeks until it uh, <coughs> turns the color of strawberries. This is the Joe Pie line I put in one year ago. I planted this Joe Pie line. Oh man, so I am thrilled to say tomorrow the Amish guys are coming down and we're finally adding a front screened porch to Hummingbird. So we will have a screened porch. So I think he is going to gallop off into the sunset at the dump. Time to get rid of this thing here is that. So this is those. I got these, uh, this basket of geraniums down in Florida. They were headed towards, headed towards the, uh, the trash can at the Lowe's in Florida. Uh, it just had a big bloom, so uh, it's, this will be solid red in another week. So, Sama, do you recognize the... Uh, and the little elephant. I got this little elephant planter from Osama. And do you recognize uh, this little planter? So, good Lord. Anywho, it is a fine day to be a flower. In the Finger Lakes of New York, baby. <laughs> so while the rest of the world swelters and falls apart, it is just another day, another day in paradise at Bugs in a Jar Farm. So, uh, come see us. Bye, guys.